Today I'm going to talk about the VIX, the volatility index of the S&P 500, and the reason I am is because it jumped 18% today. Today the VIX, volatility index of the S&P 500, which measures the volatility of the S&P 500, hmm, uh, jumped 18.55%, so it closed at 26 uh, 97 today. It got as high as 29 and as low as 22. Now, if those who have seen some of my other videos on volatility, volatility between 20 and 26 is basically what we call choppy markets, um, but it is more of a bullish environment. Anything over 26 is more of a bearish environment. Now, why is this one day event significant? Probably not, we'll see what happens tomorrow. A one day event doesn't represent a trend, it doesn't sh uh, represent uh, a long term or short term uh, overall trend. And what we're looking for in volatility is a trend and the trend has been uh, downward. So l lower lows, higher lows, and the VIX has been going down, down, down. It's dipped below 20 a couple times, but it's been bouncing between 26 and tw 19 or so, which is great for markets because it's bullish. Once it goes below uh, 20 or so, or actually into near 15 and below, it is a bear, a bull market full-on bull market. And that's what we saw from most of, uh, from 2016 through 2019 or so, uh, we saw a bull market in the, uh, in, in, we saw a bull market in the S&P 500 and all the other indexes. Well, here's why I bring this up and here's why I'm, I'm talking about the VIX. On December 21st, the VIX jumped to a high of 31 a low of 24 and it closed at 25. So in the last, what, two weeks or so, we've seen major spikes in volatility. And the, I look at this because you can, you when you start to look at the little small things in markets, uh, the particular um, periods of time, you possibly are starting to see a change in behavior. And when you start to see a trend, and that trend has more and more events like the VIX jumping like it did today and on the 21st, you start to see a pattern being created. And my question is, are we starting to see volatility jump? And are we going to start seeing the VIX start jumping above 26, which is bearish for the S&P 500? And could we start to see as we get closer to the inauguration of the Biden administration on January 20th, we could see the VIX go over 26 and markets become very volatile? Or is it just a one day event that we have seen twice in the last couple weeks? The answer is, I don't know, but what I am looking for is a trend, a change in the trend. And right now the trend in the VIX is down. So it's heading towards more of a uh, bearish environment for the VIX, bullish for the S&P 500. As we continue to see these patterns uh, develop in hopes that we'll continue to see a bearish VIX environment and bullish for the S&P 500. But this is where we have to really study our charts. We have to write down in our notebooks that, hey, this is what's happening. If we start to see higher lows in the VIX on and higher highs, we may start to see a, a change in the behavior of volatility, which could be negative for the S&P 500. This is where looking at every day's performance of volatility, along with volume, uh, and price action of the underlying index or stock that you may be using. Uh, so these are this is something I'm looking at. I mean, 18 and half percent jump in the VIX is pretty hefty, and those who are owning some sort of VIX product um, made and got out today made a, a ton of money. Um, and a lot of this could be because of tomorrow's uh, runoff election in Georgia, uh, and so this could be a restructuring of portfolios since it's the first day of the uh, trading year 
uh, of 2021 and we could see a rebalancing happening. There could be a million and one reasons why this happened, but the point is it happened and it was a double digit move percentage wise. So we need to pay attention. So as we go into tomorrow, I'm looking at all the different volatility indexes. The VXN, which is the NASDAQ 100, um, the RVX, which is, I believe, the Russell 2000. I believe I got that symbol right. And even I'm looking at Apple's volatility index. I'm looking at oil uh, volatility index along with I'm watching the U.S. dollar. So as we go into this fin in, further into this week, which will be a big uh, news week, the media's media will be blowing this stuff up for the next uh, couple days. This may be opportunities for you to buy low and buy assets that you love and be able to buy them at lower prices. Or it may be a sign of the turning of from all-time highs to maybe a retracement of some sort.